There's a lot of confusion about how internet addresses work and the allocations work and IPv4, IPv6, and I want to address it because, again, ICANN is the central authority on internet address allocations. It allocates those through the regional internet registries, such as Paul and Raul represent, who distribute those addresses to ISPs and other parties. There's some misconceptions that are very fundamental that need to be dismissed, or rather, let us put the truth on the table. There is no difference in how emerging countries have been treated historically in IPv4 allocations than other countries. The addresses were available to parties when they needed them. The constraint is to, to use IPv4, you have to have the hardware and software, you have to have the network routers and switches, you have to install your networks and need the addresses. And when parties did in emergency countries, in emerging countries like all of the countries, those addresses were allocated through the regional internet registries, through the ISPs. If anyone in this room has a single example of a corporation or an NGO or a government not receiving an address allocation, please let me know, or Raul or Paul or others, so they're available. With respect to IPv6, let us be clear. There are trillions of trillions of addresses available, literally trillions of trillions. There's plenty of addresses. Addresses are not a constraint in IPv6. It's the hardware, the software, the upgrades to the network systems that take a lot of time and money. So that's what we're talking about. The addresses are absolutely available. Every country is treated equally. If any country or any party feels that they've not been given an address for their computers, please come talk to Raul or Paul or me or others. The addresses are available. And I really appreciate the fact that Secretary General Ture recognized yesterday that ICANN's role as the central authority on names and addresses, because that'll also enable us to uh, work more productively with all partners, partners in the ecosystem, including the ITU, whom we respect and value.